So, hello. Here I am, first time in English, and I hope you bear with me. I'm native born German, so my English is not so perfect. But I hope you can understand me. A lot of you guys had mailed me from outside the German speaking area, and I wanted to ask, uh, sorry, I wanted to answer your questions um, in, a, in a language you can better understand in German, and I hope this will do. Um, usually I have a little small stylish black book with me but this is damaged so right now you have to be here with a smartphone for having saved your answers uh, questions sorry okay okay first question from Klaus from the Netherlands was what type of a survival manual can you um, how to say uh, what type of survival manual uh, can you name that will uh, fit, uh, fit my needs best? Well, class, since you haven't told me what your needs are, I have to split the answer in three sections. Um, if you're more a native bushcraft guy, I'd advise you to go with Ramius, because he's the man for bushcraft, and his books are very good to read. His type of teaching is very easy to understand. And it's a great way to explore the outdoors with his books. If you're more the pragmatic uh, guy who goes on outdoor trips and you want to be prepared for certain events, I'd say you go with Mr. Cody Landin and his book 98.6 Degrees because it's very, yeah, it's really down to the basics. It's pu pure survival without. Um, caring for native skills and without caring for tra tradition, it's purely science-based survival and it will be the best you can do for pragmatic survival. If you're in the military, on the other hand, and you seek something uh, to complement your uh, knowledge or your skills, then I would advise you to the uh, survival handbook by Mr. Michael Hawke. He's ex-Special Forces, uh, ex-Army Special Forces, United States Army. Um, he's a combat veteran and he's very skilled. And I'm I'm known to pick on survival experts on obvious errors they made in their movies. I haven't found any in Mr. Hawk's um, presentation. And the other point is, um, he's a nice guy and he really makes a serious impression. I met him once live, we had a nice chat and I think he's one of the survival guys who's really down down on the earth still um, and he really likes teaching. So everything he he will put in a, in a book he will have tested, he has confidence uh, in this and it's tested and tried. So if you're in the military, in the uh, mobile reserve or in a type of national guard Mr. Michael Hawke uh, books will be the one you will get the most out of it. Again, sorry for my English. Okay. Do you test everything before you put it in the shop? Actually, no, not everything. But everything that has my trademark, that means BX on it. Everything that is BX will be tested. Um, tests can be some hours outdoors just testing the function or real three-day hikes where we test the equipment. For example, we had a three-day hike on uh, in the German Alps two weeks ago and I tested a rucksack during this tour. If we would fail, we wouldn't um, put it in the shop. It didn't fail, it will come to the shop soon. Actually, about 66% of the equipment we test will fail the test and will never be seen in the shop because we say no. We won't sell anything we are not confident with, so it goes out of the window if it does not uh, pass the test when we take it outdoors. Well, that's it. I hope I didn't sound too much like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I hope to get more questions from you, uh, you guys outside of Germany, and I will answer them as soon as I can. Have a good time. Bye.